When Dean Jacobs came to my school, I saw that he was so full of passion about what he does, and that made me want to help animals and travel around the world just like he does. After his presentation was over, he asked a question that really hit home for me. It was, should we make an effort to protect the remaining gorillas? Why or why not? At first I thought, of course, who wouldn't? And that's when I realized that I had to speak out for them, because if I didn't, they could become extinct. So now I, so now I've poured my heart out and soul into this essay, so please understand why we must help protect the gorillas. My answer to this question is absolutely, since we, the human race, caused this to happen, and personally, I don't want to find out in 20 years that if I would have done something, that they would still be here. Diane Fossey dedicated her life to saving the gorillas, and these are some reasons why. Mountain gorillas have a low number of population in their home in the small country of Rwanda. There is only 720 left. The gorillas live 6,000 to 14,000 feet up in the mountains, and sadly they are po poached for their heads, meat, and claws. What even worse... What's even worse is that the poachers are so low as to make their paws ashtrays their heads tro and their heads trophies. We need Rwandans to help in finding snares and taking care of baby gorillas if their mothers die. In 1994, Rwandans had a genocide that lasted for 100 days and in the process killing 1 million innocent people. And surprising, another massacre is happening. But instead of people killing innocent people, it's calm. Competent people killing defenseless gorillas. Yet very few people have been trying to stop these senseless acts. Just think, if you could help stop the slaughtering of animals, would you?